<laughs> that chronic cough pushed Caitlin Lavender to take her two-year-old daughter Everly to the emergency room in Pembroke, Ontario. There, she says, they waited 10 hours to see a doctor. Our family doctors actually, we can't go in and see him at all. And getting a hold of him is quite hard sometimes. He just tells us to go to the hospital. I'm like, but I'd rather just come to him. Because of COVID, many general practitioners aren't seeing patients in person. In turn, families are relying on urgent care. At Sick Kids in Toronto, the emergency room is overcrowded, up 20% since pre-pandemic levels. But what we're struggling with is the amount of patients seeking care for primary care, not emergency care, who are coming to our emergency department. At the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ottawa, it's contributed to record admissions in May and June. Then add in staff shortages, vacations and sick calls. Kids are waiting longer than um, than anybody, than adults, than anywhere in the, in the health systems. At this Winnipeg hospital, one mother says her 15-year-old daughter waited 20 hours for treatment and is now in the ICU. I'm livid. I'm absolutely livid. The healthcare system has completely failed my child. And there's concern COVID's newest mutations will make the situation worse. New data analysis shows Omicron infected 17 million Canadians in just five months. That's around 100,000 infections a day. BA4 and 5 are said to be even more transmissible. Meanwhile, Canada's youngest are still waiting on an approved COVID vaccine, something Health Canada hopes to push forward by the end of the month. The emergency rooms um, across the country is really kind of the coming together of a perfect storm from outside illnesses to how the individual healthcare worker themselves is burnt out. As a result, ERs across Canada closed their doors or decreased hours over the long weekend. With fall, cold and flu season approaching, doctors say waits will only increase and access to care will decline. Jamie Marocker, Global News, Toronto.